Vic Bread Super Size Series for the four-year-old mares, taken out sensationally by Doug's babe. Jeff Webster joins me. Firstly, Jeff, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Paul. It was uh, quite a thrill to actually get one eventually after, you know, so many seconds and thirds over the last two or three years. Um, everyone, they all talk about what a year it's been, uh, well, what a crop it was with ladies in red and tough tilly and that. As a veteran yourself, um, and been around the sport, it must have been so frustrating knowing the calibre of mare you had and all you're hearing about is how good these other ones are and you think, well, mine's pretty good too and I'm just chasing these guys home all the time. No, it was, uh, it was very frustrating and, um, you know, just every time we'd run into tough tilly and then ladies in red came along and then we got within about, I don't know, a nose of beating Lady in Red one night here and uh, I thought oh, maybe one day we'll do it and anyway I mean she wasn't around tonight so I think we we're a bit lucky there but uh, no to this mare's credit she you know she deserves that. How how hard is it um, way off the subject in a way but to keep a mare like this being a winner when she's chasing such high quality mares home like because some horses after a while once they get beat quite regularly they sort of get used to it if that makes sense. I reckon when you get a good mare, they um, if they're in the zone, they're better than anything. Once they once you got them happy and they're racing consistently, um, unless something you know they, they they come into season or something like that or some other reason, but or, or, or soreness or lameness. But I, once you get a tough mare, you know, have a look at the gallops. You know how many great mares there are, and and the same with the paces. There's there's so many great you know mares. Once you got them right, I reckon they're good. And she's definitely in the zone right at the minute. Absolutely, yeah. She's been like this. Well, you know, you don't get too many mares that just keep running around every week, every week, never let you down. So, uh, yeah, it's, um, no, I love her. What's her greatest attribute? Oh, just got a bit of that in her. (laughs) She's just got a bit of crap in her and she never gives up and tries every time. Nice mare around the place? Uh, No, no, no. She she gets angry with you and wants to kick you out of the cart every day and uh, all that sort of stuff. But... And and will try and kick you, but yeah, that's what you put up with. Yeah, you definitely put up with it now. Tonight, um, like a tough Tilly surgeon to the front with 300 to go. Your confidence levels? Did you think you'd be able to get past it tonight in a major race? Yeah, we've sort of been level with tough Tilly for the last three or four months, I reckon. Um, just with the right run, you know, one way or the other, we could beat her and she'd beat us. But uh, tonight, Ants was just a, just a gem of a drive. You know, he just drove her absolutely perfectly, and uh, that's what won the race really. He's uh, actually great. We'll get, I'll get into a little bit of trouble, but like uh, you know, all this talk about the young, well, not so much young, but little and light drivers and the rest. And I don't think you'll mind me saying, like, he's a little bit heavier than the Mark Pitt. Everyone's heavier than him, so I'll get away with that one. He's just a master, though, isn't he? Like they just seem to to run for him. He puts him in the right spot. When the good races come around, he's he's just done it so many times. He expects it to happen. Like last night with Elegant, you know, he just settled her back in the field. He just gets the perfect trip into the right. He just expects that to happen, whereas other drivers, oh, this went wrong or that went wrong. And it just, it, it just seems to always, seems that, not always, but most times it'll, in a good race, Ants seems to just be at the right place at the right time. I, I, I think he's great, and I think you know, they carry on forever about the weight issue. Um, no offence, Ants, but he flies that one in, in the face. Now, this man's been sold to um america and that is going to be very bittersweet i would imagine for, for you one i suppose you know when big money comes knocking you, you, you can't blame anyone no it was was bittersweet because ballarat syndicate had leased her for three years and um the lease ran out at the end of uh september or sorry in the start of september and uh, i released it to him and said look you know i had no offers at that stage he said look you know you You've done a great job in the, you know, with the ownership and all that. So let's just keep going and have a bit of fun. Well, then that was all right. And then all of a sudden, this, you know, the American offer came along, and I felt really guilty. And, and you know, if, the worst part about it, she kept drawing really bad for the Ballarat people. Last week she draws one. This not, this week she draws four. Like you know, Ballarat never, you know, we never hardly ever got a good draw in these big races. So it was just unfortunate that that happened. If she, you know, if she didn't win tonight, I wouldn't have any qualm about it but because you know but anyway I've I've been good to the Ballarat syndicate as they've been good to me and uh, I've got them another one so we're all good and it, it, hopefully it's as good as her and they have as have as much fun and they have terrific fun and we want more syndicates involved in the sport she's not going straight away you said February at the minute is the first plane now she's not necessarily on that first plane and you're sort of hoping you might be able to keep her here for a little bit longer when with the form that she's in yeah well the next race is about a month away um and she's been in work a long time, but, you know, why not the way she's going? So uh, um, 
there's a hundred thousand dollar race here. She'll go around in that, and then Ants and I are trying to push to keep her here because they want to send her straight to America after that. But we've then got the ladyship up in Sydney after that, a couple of weeks later. So if she's going good in this next one, um, and if she happened to win it, she gets an automatic invite as well. So uh, there's not too many better mares in Australia that I've seen. She's a mare that hasn't raced a lot either, but for mine, she'd relish that Menangle track. Oh, yeah. No, she'd love it. Yeah, no, she's she's tough and speedy and, yeah, got all the attributes that, yeah, it'd be really nice to go up there. And, uh, like, they were going to take up ladies in red for the Miracle Mile. We're only want to crack in that, having a crack at the ladyship. So, yeah, why not? Yeah, no, I, I agree. Stable, mate, you, you're going terrific. You must be wrapped with how the team's performing, you know, here on the big stage, but also the, the lesser lights. Yeah, no, it's, I had a good, you know, I've got five here tonight and, um, you know, to be all in group ones, it's a it's a pretty good effort um, from the team at home. That's me. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's um, it's, been a, it's been a good year. No, I've had a good year. Can I ask a rude question? How old are you? Uh, what am I? 67. Yeah, and, and still enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, no, I still, you know, yeah. As, as Justin Warwick used to say, beats cutting lawns. It does indeed. It does indeed. Jeff, thank you. Well done. Um, keep up the good work, mate. Keep training winners for as long as you can. And uh, congratulations with Doug Babe. I reckon you've done an awesome job because, you know, they've, they've got a big team across the road there and uh, she's been fronting up against them for a since she two-year-old. And uh, to come out on top tonight, I reckon, it's a great great reward for yourself and everyone involved. Yeah, no, it was, I'm really chuffed to win with her. She's, you know, we bred her and all that sort of stuff. It's, uh, it's an extra special feeling. Jeff, well done. Thank you.